so you could buy it super, super quick. Now there's that extra gold on the recipe. And it was when the helm, the creep damage was plus 40. <laughs> so it made it really broken with Aya. Yeah. So you're cruising around super fast. You got the spirits and then you auto attacked. Also dumb fast. So the MKB was extra value. What is the Wisp Bags right now? Spirits it's passively spirits. spawn around you. Okay, yeah. max of five. I doubt that's going to be a key part of the build. You don't get uh, the, it gets worked in. You don't get the, the damage aisle. until level 20. I guess I mean, like, it's not going to be an Aghanim's rush. I don't think. I don't know. He rushed it on Void. Although, people have been trying out the Void one, so I won't, uh, I won't be too hard. <laughs> he rushed it on Void! Surely that's one-to-one -to, -one to Core Wisp. I mean, it's basically <laughs> the same thing. Like, actually, it's pretty much just a farming eggs at that point. Yeah, I mean, I still don't know how good the eggs for Void in terms of farming is. We didn't really get to see it for that long, and he got killed, like, three times immediately after picking it up, so we didn't yeah, really get... Yeah, it is get... really good for farming, but his was just a little bit too late due to the yeah. game state. I feel like I need to see a, a good example of it to really, really digest it. Uh, looking at this mid matchup, Kunkka is winning it right now. 17-2 compared to the 12-1 of Topson's Void. They are trading blows right now. Man. Oh, Seb blocked it, though. That's kind of funny. I know. Soul rip. Oh, hey, oh that was so sick. Oh, they still find it. E dies yeah. down bottom. I was wondering why he was waiting so long, but he got just in range of those creeps. Catch us if you can. It almost worked. His mission was kind of successful, though. He was trying to make sure that the camp didn't spawn after they dewarded it. And so he was body blocking it, but then they forced him off with two heroes. But then Seb actually body blocked it anyway to get the angle on the arrow. So uh. victory through death. Bottom is missing. Kill secured. Uh, Wisp farming okay. It's out uh, even with the Ursa right now. So not a huge disparity there. Really just this mid lane uh, is the big gap. All right, this is kind of sick, though, that how you can just buy crown and helm as your laning items. Yep. It's a righteous doom bringer. Yeah, they're really close to the helm. Yeah, it's on its way now, so... Save themselves some of these creeps. Yeah, no, I was, I was looking at the start of the game, just how the scaling works between the uh, the tide bringer and the uh, the time walk, and, and it works because you basically get to dodge every Missing second middle. tide bringer, which... At first, doesn't sound that amazing, but you know, compared to other mid laners, that uh, is a lot of mitigation. What he relies on, yeah. Yeah. Also, really curious what items Thompson's going to build on the void. Like, is this going to be an Ags game for the void, even? Step lively now. Your I think it kind of depends on how fast uh, mid one can play as to what his build has to be. Up top, O tail in some trouble. He's going to go down. <laughs> Overcommits a little bit there. DM will find himself a kill on the top lane. Creep pull. Going to be successful. Oh, this hurts for OG. Let's see uh, how much VPP can clear out of this. No tail up in just a couple of seconds. Oh, but Doom, he's got the shockwave. That's so good for clearing out these stacks quickly. Mid one trying to snipe a few of them. Hard Takes to tell like your how whole many mana bar, but it's so worth it. <laughs> yeah. All right, Helm is up on Wisp now. Yeah, 100 mana for Shockwave. Doom's got 360. Epileptic Kid, though, coming in. Just saw this a minute ago, and it's going to end the exact same way. No Tail takes a tumble. Another kill up for VPP. Yeah, he's trying to get as much as he can out of this tower since uh, mid one didn't want to really play up there anymore. But it's a bit of space creation, though, as OG do finish off that tower in the bottom lane. They will probably lose this tier one up top, but pretty even trade. And mid one is heading for a halberd first. So pretty good item on IO just because of the Sanj and all the benefits you get from that. Those all synergize really well with the IO. FN, Chronosphere available mid, Topson thinking about it. There it is, deployed. Rubik with some follow up. Arrow from Seb hits save, and he might have lived up to his name to try to save his Kunkka, but it won't be enough. Now DM is here, still has the Doom, looking to drop it onto Seb as he heads east. By east, I mean west. <laughs> Got him confused for a second there. And then 16% stats. Engagement in the jungle. Two of them found. It's DM and Ian, and they're going to be in big trouble. DM goes down straight away, and now the Undying will have no hope to retreat. A double for mid one as they get caught in the jungle. The mid one just.
just goes right back to work on the bottom lane. Radiance back to his uh, handy creep. Under attack. Maximum efficiency. Radiant structures are fortified. Tier one mid, now under assault. OG grouping up. Have Chrono Spear back. Was ready for Thompson to drop a sick Chrono to stop that Icarus dive. Now Moonlight Shadow. Thinking about the Chrono, looking for the perfect setup. Where's it gonna be? He hesitates. Epileptic Kid pops the ult. Now they drop the Chrono on two. It's FN and Ian. No save from the Undying, and FN will have no chance either. Phoenix Egg falls through, or goes <laughs> through, but falls Radiance short of achieving anything. Yeah, and he had no dive, so. He's maxed out the Bloodlust this game. We have not been seeing this build as much. No, yeah, for sure. I mean, his, his lane was a bit weird. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I guess just, just speaking to uh, the versatility of Ogre, and even these, like, quote-unquote, outdated builds can still be viable. Max Bloodlust. And sweet. Uh, looking for another. They'll bump into FN. He'll throw the boat. That's stolen, though. Oh, he torn it first. Smart guy. Very nice. Nicely done, FN. Very nice. Soxa had already gone off two tombstones of that one steal before, so he, he was hoping for another big one. Ooh, that, was kid. that was a little bit close. Oh, they saw him. Are you going to find him here? Epileptic kid running through the trees. I didn't notice, but that's actually a Midas on this Ursa. Yeah, he's, uh, he's working. I don't know if I love that. I guess didn't have space to go for the Battle Fury. Sort of felt like it uh, would have been too slow against the aggro from this Wisp. Uh, I, I, it's also, I guess... uh, there's Midas value this game too, right? Versus the Io. I actually okay. think that, that makes a bit of a difference. Actually, that yeah, that's a good point. Down bottom, I was going to say, they've got the Devourer already, but having another Midas to eat that creep. Interesting if we see it actually come into play. Seb up top, dusted, caught by the X. A couple of leaps, not going to be enough. It's kind of funny because it's one of those things that gets mentioned every once in a while, but then you also always think like, yeah, but do you really want your Midas off cooldown? <laughs> that is a good thought too. Like you want to keep this thing on cooldown from farming in the jungle. You'd be kind of lucky to take a team fight where the Midas comes up just in time as the Wisp shows up with his little centaur. I mean, I've definitely seen them spam versus like, especially back in the heyday of Chen. That was like actually kind of a thing. Like it just adds yep. some value to it. Like Clinks versus Chen, I always remember people talking about that uh, potential counter on paper. Man, Soxa is so greedy when he goes for these steals. I think Ursa just doesn't love attack speed as much as some of these other Midas carriers. Oh, Soxa. Got baited. Yep, they're gonna find a free uh, Rubik, and now more. Boyd gonna be the target, he gets doomed. No tail goes down. Thompson says, well, I think I'm dead no matter what, so uh, I'll take a couple of damage, I would imagine. They are gonna start running really low on damage as this game continues. Oh, they're gonna find DM here in the river. Uh, it's kind of very fights. DM down bottom and up top, E and FN also pushed back by No Tail. Chrono comes out, connects on two. The Doom and the Ursa, they'll need a little more damage to get this kill and they've got it. Now they turn on to Ursa and Rage has already been used. Soul Rip, not gonna be enough. The Sunray helps, but he's down. Three gonna fall on the side of Virtus Pro Prodigy. Two of them cores. OG take a good fight off the backside of that Chrono. That was a little scary. Doom was coming up pretty soon, but they were just a little too spread. They had like a couple raiding heroes here. You had Doom here, and then Tunka was coming over from like this angle, or not Tunka, but the, uh, the Earth was coming from that angle. Oh, that was awkward. Then. That's bad. They found him jungling. He's tanky, but they got him. Look at that slow. Radiance top tower. Bottom lane. They're also oh, another. the Wisp, or the uh, Phoenix, rather. Try Still hold Aegis, too. Yeah. For a long time. Still have three minutes to expire. Bottom lane now, Thompson trying to go in onto the Ursa, but he'll get X'd and pulled back. Mid one with a reload. Oh, what a telekinesis from Soxa. Dam's got it handled. OG gonna stick around, Glyph comes out, and now maybe the time to sound the retreat. Invisibility rune up on Seb, so he can scout things out. No 
They'll leave Thompson behind. Or are they baiting with Thompson? Hit by the Infernal Blade. Pulled back. Can't time walk. Thompson might lose the Aegis. No, he'll live. Now the rest of OG initiate. The egg comes through. They're going to try to kill it. Thompson jumps in, and I don't think they're going to be able to make it happen. The Rebirth will come through. And they have the Doom. And the okay. Warstop Stomp Ball. Oh, he missed the Stomp! Thompson might still live on the run. Time walk coming up, but X again. Can they get this Doom? He's okay. Yes. Now the turn the other way. Telekinesis into Arrow. It's a 4v5, but Seb jumps in with confidence, taking a lot of damage here, put into the Yules. They will bring down the Kunkka. It's a 4v4 now. OG, a little bit light on gas, but Soxa with a stolen Sunray, healing up the team and now burning down Eve. It's VP Pro that are on the run all of a sudden. Epileptic Kid trying to make it out, but the Wisp very fast. They are going to jump forward. Time Walk finds a bash, finds a second. Epileptic Kid is down. Now Ian and Save in big trouble. Ian will fall, as will the Bird, and that's four on the, uh, on the sideline. OG again with a huge fight. I like that uh, they tried to force that. Oh, it was so close, too. Uh, that initial telekinesis from Soxa just uh, really hurt the like first jumping, and then they still decided to go in, even though they were like kind of baiting from OG. Like obviously Thompson knows they're still there while he's just like farming their ancients, but they still felt like they could do it. But the uh, missing the war stop after the respawn really hurt. Thompson was actually fairly separated right there. Yeah. And look at this mid one. It's gonna be MKB Trent. Yeah, yeah, he uh, queued up before that one. So oh, that fight, pretty close to it also. Yeah. Bottom tower is under attack. All right, well, if you're British Pro Prodigy, you still have some tools available. You still have uh, a Doom in this game, so it is one of those oh. things you can just like negate one of the enemy heroes. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. And then you also uh, have an Ursa, too, so like just a couple chain stuns and you can blow up even the tankiest opponents. Looking at uh, what could be our Radiant's fourth halberd here, Phoenix. Excellent. Has it queued up, and uh, the Faceless Void does want an Aghanim Scepter. He did go God King. Right now, Manta and Halberd, and that's going to be into the Ags. That seems uh, interesting. It is definitely an efficiency build from Topson. Is it that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm surprised that you get it after the Manta and the Halberd, though. Just I guess my like... guaranteed stun is pretty good. I feel like I need to interview a pro player about the Void Agonims. I need I need a deep dive here, Trent. Can we get like a post-game interview here? You call him up. You got Thompson on your Steam list there, buddy? Can we give him a ring? No, we're not, I'm not that cool. I don't, TI winners don't, uh, Dyer's bottom don't gel with my whole uh, friends list, Dyer, you know? Awesome. They get removed once they win TI. It's like, no. You too oh, for this. Uh, you remove them. I, I right? send them away. Yeah. Yeah. No, we were very close before. You proactively. So you yeah. know what, No Tail? I thought we were equals, but now I've realized you're so far ahead of me that I can't have you on my list. Yeah, that's that's fairly accurate. I see. Yeah, I had the same conversation with him. I think totally uh, the the big value I see is like mid team fight uh, when he's diving onto this like Phoenix, because Thompson keeps targeting save before the egg. And uh, if he time walks over and just like instantly stuns the Phoenix, that's gonna be pretty frustrating. He might a actually just kill him. Yeah. I guess it also does let you chain bashes. Like if you just right click until you get one and then you time walk right away, you're guaranteed to like bash bash. And we have seen Void do double bashes. So it does give you the ability to triple bash somebody in theory. That yeah, sounds pretty nasty. Yeah, it can do like the, the bash, bash, bash thing. Yeah. Fortunately for uh, No Tail, put those words down in Vision of a Century. And also in trouble himself, Arrow coming in, but off the mark, No Tail actually does live. And now DM gonna be repelled, healed up by a soul rip, and won't be enough to keep him alive. Doom on the sideline now does have a buyback in case he needs it. No Tail. I am. Uh, he, it's stolen rum. It's oh, it was the rum. Okay, there it is. Yeah. There you go. It's like, what is happening? Radiance middle tower. And Soxa looking for a new steal. Topson. Did he just get right. Sunray? Oh, yeah. He did. All right, here we go. Glyph comes out. They want Topson, and they've got him. No. They relocated him out. They save him. Still doomed, though, so no chrono. 
Looking to pursue Virtus Pro Prodigy. Struggling to find the connection, and now the turn the other way. Seb with an arrow, Chrono connects on two. It misses Epileptic Kid though, the disarm on top to mitigates a lot of the Chrono, but he's still pretty healthy. Big damage coming out of OG as Ian will be the first casualty alongside No Tail. Epileptic Kid now goes down, mid one sustaining, and it's looking like a bad fight for BPP. A one for four, only able to get the OG five. That was unreal, man. Mid one just standing there, right clicking away. That was a dieback on the Doom as well, as GG gets 